In this video, we are going to create an amazing Firestorm realistic effect using Photoshop action. It will be fun, so let's jump in Photoshop. Welcome back everyone. My name is Adnan Chaudhary from Tasty Tutorials and uh, today we are going to be creating a sandstorm effect as you know. So the first thing first, let me just tell show you that what we can create with this action. So this is a normal image and it's a pretty much a high definition. So uh, let's do it. You can see that it is not just a firestorm. It just includes some particles black smoke and fire also and some cracks you can see that cracks it, it is really high detail work so premium work and you know that premium work is amazing always amazing so uh, all of these things things are free of course so in every video I am just telling you that please subscribe please subscribe and it's important for me because it really gives a uh, you can see that encouragement so I could create some more videos like that and i have so much things to show you that but uh, as i am working so you have to help me uh, i think so and uh, so let's uh, go to our work so let's just close this up and we'll start our work before starting this i will highly recommend you that please use high definition images like 2k or 3k images because the more you increase your uh, we can say that quality of image the more you will get output in highest resolution so uh, it's uh, about the size of this image is uh, you can see that 5k and 3k so you can see that here and resolution is 240 percent and it's not a big deal so uh, the image should be in 8 bit RGB and the background layer should be locked the name should be background suppose you don't have name layer background so it is just a simple layer zero so you'd want to make it uh, locked with background name so you will, will go to layer new and go to background from selected layer so it will turn it turn into a locked background layer and the next step is that we'll create a new layer right uh, upon it and we will name this as B R U S H lowercase we keep in mind that we are going to use this in lowercase okay so before uh, uh, press B from your keyboard to call up your brush tool and keep in mind that it should be uh, 100 pixels wide uh, more than 100 percent sorry pixels because if you it will be uh, in uh, we can say that lower it will show some errors so that's why it's pretty much nice work so we will paint over this area okay it's soft light we will make it hard so try to use hard brushes because it really gives an amazing output so uh, let's just create this one and try to use curly edges so it will give a dynamic effect so it's nice maybe we could do this right a little bit downside and then like this okay a little bit here so what is the next step next step is that we need to load some brushes of uh, fire so we'll go to right click and click on this gearbox go to load brushes and it will like we navigate us to the folder which we have downloaded so uh, navigate your uh, location of this uh, brush location to the folder where you have downloaded the brush pack let me show you when you will download your uh, brushes you will see that there is a file named firestorm zip file so when you will extract that there will be a folder named firestorm actions open this folder and you will see that uh, there are three folders inside that and a one file it is a brush file so we will load this first so open this firestorm folder there is a uh, brush file so click on load it will be load uh, okay so it is loaded here you can see that and uh, the next step is we will need to load actions so go to windows and click on actions the short key is alt plus f9 so click on actions let's just drag it and extract this out okay so it is already loaded so we'll delete this first and then go to this uh, icon and go to load actions from the load actions uh, navigate your uh, folder to the uh, file where you have downloaded or extracted the file folder so it's in firestorm open firestorm folder you will see that there are three more folders 
uh, this one is for the latest version of Photoshop it is for CS4 and CS5 and it's for CS6 users so each and every pattern is uh, we can say that uh, action is different for different versions so we'll, we are using CS, CS uh, we are using Photoshop CC 2015.5 so we'll open this CC plus so we'll click on this firestorm and click on load so it will be loaded right here and there are four things inside this it is a right left up down it means that you want to create effect in right side the distortion will be into the right side and on the upside and uh, uh, downside and left side so in four directions it is so for this image uh, we will use the right direction so click on right click and open this to see what is going on here so okay so click on this background layer or whatever you like to select we will just click on background layer and just need to click and it will play the action just wait for uh, these actions to complete its process and uh, let's just click on this play button okay so the process is finished let's just collapse this uh, actions panel and select the move tool and you will see that it is a really really amazing effect which is applied on that now what we can do changes in that so you can actually everything uh, edit everything in that so press ctrl alt and click on this dropping down arrow and it will close all these folders at once so now uh, this is the visibility of the face uh, fire visibility you can see that it can change and uh, it's toning of the fire uh, okay it looks nice here so you can change the glow of fire look at this and uh, you can emboss these uh, particles you can just increase them like uh, okay sorry uh, click on this thumbnail and click and drag them like this and what we can do this we can increase the fire and what else uh, you can hide the cracks look at this uh, this there are little cracks here and uh, look at them uh, you can just hide them to sorry uh, cracks you can see that there are no cracks now so the effect overall effect is amazing you will really be thrilled uh, after watching this and you can create many of these things and uh, you can increase the ashes let me just show you where are ashes and uh, you can uh, let's just increase the ash uh, okay sorry select this group layer and then move cool and what more you can change the color options too you can you can see that there is a a vignette uh, you can just uh, click and close this vignette so you can change its color overall color let's just open the color options and apply different type of colors you can see that it's fiery colors it is a cool it's uh, like pinkish color you can apply any of it it looks amazing so uh, let's just go with the first which was applied on this so actually you can turn off this uh, by using this one okay so I hope you like this video and uh, found it helpful for you and you can just create many things you just need to practice and uh, go to my Facebook page and uh, uh, you can just post whatever you want and whatever you created with this or by, by using the actions which I have already provided on my channel so create something uh, different and just uh, comment on the video and uh, i will show it in my next video so it will be fun and you really enjoy this work and please try this at once it is really really amazing thing and it's free of course the downloading description the downloading link is given in the description bar and uh, give this video a thumbs up and uh, give it a subscribe because our subscribe button really needs your help so please click that subscribe button it will be great and uh, keep connected you can found so many things on this channel in future and i will try my best to do to provide you amazing things so we will meet in our next video and never forget never stop and keep learning